Hello YouTube, Joshua C here. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble your quarter inch drive snap-on ratchet. Alright, so this particular example is a THLF72, so this is the flex head extended handle. It's non-locking. So for this particular example what you're going to need is a T8 Torx, and this is for the faceplate screws, and this is consistent with all models, just like so. And you're also going to need a uh, T15 for the joint screw. Uh, just a note, if you have an early dual 80 technology ratchet, it's going to have the single pattern screw, such as my 2011 example up top here. And if you have like a later model, I think like 2013 or later, they'll have the dual pattern screws, which has a flathead screwdriver. I don't recommend using a flathead on these because these will uh, strip. Uh, but I do highly recommend getting a pick or some sort of uh, implement to uh, clean uh, the uh, gunk out of here so your bit could have good purchase on the uh, fastener. The first step is to remove these two uh, screws that hold on the faceplate. Okay, after removing the two screws, you're now permitted to remove the uh, faceplate and it should reveal to you the internals. So here you guys, I'll show you guys so you guys can study. Uh, you'll have the seal the anvil or the square drive gear, the dual pawl, and if you note on the quarter drive chassis there's a lack of a W spring. Uh, this is consistent on both fixed head and uh, flex head models. You're going to see the bridge and you're going to see a spring which actually should pop up the faceplate and the uh, respective ball bearing that helps locate the selector switch and give that uh, snappy feel uh, when going on and off. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the gear. Next, I'm going to remove the dual pole. I'm going to remove the spring. And I'm going to remove this ball bearing. Boop. And now I'm going to remove uh, the uh, bridge, just like so. And now the selector switch has to come from the front. And so what you need to do is rock it. So I'll show you that right now. What you're going to do is press on it, simply like that, and now it should be free. And there is how you completely disassemble the gearbox of a quarter inch drive chassis dual 80 technology ratchet. And now I'm going to reinstall it. Okay, so you're going to want to install the reverse lever coming from the inside to the out and so you just rock it in and press down on the seal and you're going to want to put it on either the on or off position and that's going to be important in uh, alignment of uh, the other parts in later steps. After the reverse lever is going to be this bridge and that simply falls into place you can't mess up and you can literally see that divot I don't know if you guys can see that's the divot in which the ball bearing rides and you see how it forms a perfect cup and now you're going to install it in this lower bore just like so. I'm going to install the spring. Uh, I don't believe this spring is directional in any way. There go. There's the spring and it should exceed uh, the bore. That's a good thing. Uh, that's It's because uh, it actually tensions off the faceplate. Now to install the pole, you're going to want to make sure that that leg or those two uh, posts that stick out, you're going to want one to feed in. So it's either whatever side you picked it's going to be just a mirror image of this. You're going to want to stick it inside that channel. You're going to want to stick it inside that channel just like that. And you're going to want to make sure that that, that post is trapped in there. And now when you install the gear or anvil, you're going to want to uh, just basically rock it in. It should trap itself just like so. And then now you could either install this seal onto the anvil like I did in this case or you could actually have it uh, pressed into the uh, faceplate. Uh, as far as directionality of the seal, uh, I, I usually put it the way that I found it, but I've probably mixed it around. I found no difference really, so just install the seal. So now install the faceplate and the two T8 faceplate screws and you should be done uh, with the ratchet head. 
As always, after you put it together, verify that it functions in both directions. You guys could hear that snap, very solid, and it, that it uh, actually turns uh, and operates correctly. Now let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to switch our tool over to a T15 uh, and remove this joint screw. Be very careful because the washer here is that tensions this joint could actually fly out sometimes. So keep keep that in mind. All right, so here are the parts. You guys can see the joint screw itself. That's usually Loctited in. Uh, the actual joint washer and the head and the, obviously the handle portion. And now I'm going to show you guys how to install it and the tips and tricks I use uh, on the quarter inch drive. So when installing this, what I do is I line it up and I have the split in the washer to be the last thing to install. And so I prep it as such. And actually for the quarter inch drive, what I do is I like tilting it almost at a 90 degree. Uh, that's for me because I have little tiny Asian hands. And uh, I pinch it together uh, like this in this position. And so you'll actually see this tail uh, compress and allow it to uh, push on so be very careful long story short if you have the split to be the last thing going on it'll be very easy to install or easier to install I would all right guys I want to just show you guys in real time if you could see what I mean by the split being the last thing to go on Just like that, uh, wiggle it up. So now we just align it, and that's what I mean when I install it sideways like that. It's gonna take you probably a couple minutes, but guys, uh, just be patient and don't lose that ring. Just going to uh, install the screw, just like this. So I just snug it, and uh, that's adequate for me. So hopefully that helps you guys. So after you install it, uh, tighten your joint screw according to how you want as far as joint stiffness and that should do it. So best of luck to you guys.